So in the last video, we went over creating some servers in DigitalOcean and then installing Ansible from another server in which we will connect to the DigitalOcean droplets. Then we went over running some basic commands with Ansible. And lastly, we used the apt module to install Nginx onto our servers. And actually, one thing I didn't show, which I will right now, was what happens when you run the exact same command twice in a row. Ansible should be independent, meaning that you should be able to run the same command over and over again and always get the same result. So we can see here that we want the state to be the latest version of Nginx. So what Ansible is going to do here is ensure that it has the latest stable install of Nginx available. And since we do, it changed nothing. So that's great. We can run this command over and over and over again. And the resulting state of the three droplets that we want is always going to be the same. So this is great, but we usually need to do some more orchestration, some more extra steps when we install stuff to our servers. For instance, this will install the distribution version of Nginx, but we might want the true latest stable, which we might need to get through a repository. So we might need Ansible to do something like add app repository, and then you know what add whatever repository the latest stable is, like a PPA, Nginx, Nginx, whatever it, whatever it happens to be. Um, so to do that, instead of keep running one-off commands like this, we're going to orchestrate all this inside of a playbook. So let's do that. We're going to make a directory. I'll just call this Ansible. And I'm just going to call this playbook nginx.yaml. So configuration in Ansible is all done through YAML files. All right, so we'll start that off. So the first thing I'm going to do is, like in any YAML file with no metadata, we're just going to add the three lines up here in the top. And then we can start defining some configuration as well as some tasks that we want Ansible to run. So for instance, I want to define the host for Ansible to run. And the host, I'm just going to do web. Now, if you recall, we created a grouping of servers called web inside of our inventory file here. So that's just what I'm referring here. This is called web. And we're going to say use the host from the web group in this playbook. Next, I'm going to tell this to use sudo. We don't actually need this because in our example, we're logging in as user root. But that is not always the case. So if you're logging in as a user who is not root, who needs to run these commands as sudo, you can define that here by saying sudo yes. All right, so now we can finally start defining our tasks. The first task we saw before is the one where we installed Nginx. But actually, I'm going to add some tasks on top of this. And this is what playbooks are good for. We can just have a series of tasks in here. So the first thing I want to do is have one named add Nginx repository. So what I'm going to do here is have Ansible install the, the PPA for Ubuntu that will install the latest stable of Nginx. So that uses the module. So before we use the module apt, and we'll use that again in a minute, but now we're going to use one called apt repository, which will help manage apt repositories, as you might imagine. And then we're going to define the arguments for this. So the repository is just PPA, PPA Nginx stable. And the state we want it to be in is just present. We want it to exist. And I'm actually going to do this thing called register. And in Ansible, what I'm doing here is registering kind of like an event. So I'm just saying PPA installed. So I'm registering the event, quote unquote, PPA installed when apt repository successfully installs itself. All right, so that's one task. Let's create the next one, and we'll call this install nginx. So now when we install nginx, we know that the repository will also already be installed, and we can get the latest stable. And that'll be a newer version than the Linux distribution default. I'm going to do apt. This is the exact command we saw before when we just ran the one-off command on the command line. So the package we already know is called nginx. The state, I'm going to do latest once again and update cache true. So this is the exact command we saw before. 
And I'm actually going to tell this to run when PPA installed is successful. So you can see I delimited this with the pipe. I'm using the PPA install item, which was registered, and I want this to only run when this is successful. So we're only going to install Nginx after, after adding the Nginx repository successfully. So the last thing I'm going to show here before we run this is the handlers that we can define. Sort of similar to registering PPA installed here, we can define other tasks to run when something else happens. So a handler is actually just a task, and we can name it things and use any module and all that kind of stuff, except handlers will only be run when we call them. So I'm just going to call this start nginx. And I'm going to use the service module. Let me get my spacing right. And the service module is going to use the nginx service, and it's going to have a state I want started. So this is the equivalent of running sudo app get, I'm sorry, sudo service nginx start. So we're just going to have a handler do that. And when do we want that to run? Well, we want that to run after nginx is installed. So we're going to say, when this is done, notify start nginx. So we've done two things here. We are installing nginx only when PPA installed is successful. And then after we install nginx, we're going to notify start nginx. I'm sorry, after we installed nginx, we're going to notify start nginx. And then that is going to call this handler called start nginx, which is going to start nginx. Great. So we have a basic playbook here. Let's see how to run that. So we can see the nginx playbook here. And we're going to do a new command here, which is just Ansible playbook. And we're going to do the same thing. We already defined the user root inside of there, so I don't need to do that again. I will need to set the private key once again. ID Ansible. And I'm going to do Nginx YAML of the playbook. Ah, I didn't save the user. OK, great. So let's see what's happening here. When we run Ansible playbook, Ansible is actually going to show us what it's doing as it's doing it. So it's playing the playbook, it's using the web group that we defined, and then it's gathering facts. And gathering facts is how it knows whether or not to change state of a server. It logs into a server, and then it gathers all the information about it it can, in this case specifically what packages are installed. So what it's going to do is know that the Nginx package is installed, but we get, it sees that the repository we want added has not been added, so it's going to do that. It's going to make a change, and that change is adding a repository. And then it's going to reinstall Nginx, and then after Nginx gets installed successfully, it's going to notify the start Nginx handler, and it's going to run that handler and start Nginx in each of these servers. All right, so we should have Nginx still in each of these. Perfect. So this is great. But once again, we usually have a more complicated use case that we need. So for instance, if we have a new server and we want to install Nginx for our application, Nginx still needs more configuration to run our application. And that might include things like actually adding our application to the server. But in addition to that, configuring Nginx to run our website via Nginx's virtual host, you know, hooking it up to PHP or Python or whatever else, and making sure everything is ready to go. So what that might mean is we might have pre-built templates or configurations or variables that might change per server that we need Ansible to use. So in the next video, we're going to use Ansible and we're going to create a role out of this Nginx playbook. And we're going to see how that can expand on the functionality of Ansible to use things like templates and variables and so on.